I'm Gina from the Children's Museum of Green Bay here with a daily dose of your virtual programming and today we are doing action art and boy is it full of action today because today we are painting with power tools. So for this project you are going to need a power drill, some paint brushes, a piece of paper, and some paint. So let's get started. We're going to start by taking our paintbrush and putting it right inside the power drill where your heads usually go and then tightening it. So you're going to spin the nozzle here and you're going to go until it clicks. Did you hear that? Okay, that means it's tight enough. It's not coming out anymore. Okay, now we're going to put it right into our color. I'll dip it in yellow first and put it onto our paper and push the button. There it goes. That's action painting. The harder you push the button, the faster it goes. There we go. I have a little blob there. Or it could be made into something like a flower or something like that. Now this is process art. Process art is just what it sounds like. It's about the process of making the art, not so much about the product. So it's about the creativity and the exploration and the problem solving that goes into making the art and just seeing what happens when you do this or you do that and playing around with colors and textures. It is great for kids to do and adults too, to tell you the truth. Okay, so we're gonna take our paintbrush now and dip it into a new color. Let's try some blue. Okay, I'm gonna go right next to it here. And then I'm gonna go into the yellow with my blue. All right, as I mix and working with some color mixing there, I had the blue, the yellow, and when they met in the middle, we can see some green. So you can play around with color mixing with this as well. Now, I want, before you go and do this, make sure that you have parent permission and supervision. So uh, you don't wanna just grab the power tools without your parents knowing. It is kind of heavy as well, so sometimes it might be kind of tricky for children to use on their own. They might need some help holding it or even pushing in the button, especially for your little kiddos at home. If it is hard for your child to use it at an angle at a table like I was doing, like this, even standing might be tricky. You can always take your piece of paper and tape it up on a window, um, or if you have an art easel, putting it on the art easel, um, putting it this way so that when you're using the power drill, you're just going straight ahead and you don't need to put it at a downward angle. This might be an easier way for a child to do it. Plus they can use two fingers then to push the button down. Um, so if you make a power tool painting at your house, we would love to see it. So please post a picture in the comment section or even a video if you have a video of you doing it. This is a great way for kids to use a power tool. I mean, I'm sure if you've used one at your house before for any fix-it projects or anything like that, your child has been interested and probably wanted to use it as well because, I mean, they're cool. They're they're kind of noisy, they, they move, they, they vibrate when you hold them. So this is a great safe way for children to get their hands on a power tool and use them in creating something. So have fun with it together. And again, show us what you create because we'd love to see it. All right, play well, learn well, and be well, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.